What's going on, everybody? It's the Growing Pains Podcast. We're back with Big Z and the Wolf. Listen, we got a lot of guest episodes lined up in April, so you know, yeah. me and Z just been grinding it out. It's Easter Sunday, late night, getting that work in. I hope you guys had a happy Easter. I hope everybody was safe. Yeah, Z was I, just telling me he ate everything on the menu today. He was killing it. Everything on the menu, man. He was killing it. But we got a, another different type of episode, kind of like last week. Um, I mean, the main gist of it is just about, you know, having a vision. Yep. You have to have a vision no matter what it is, even if it's for your career, if it's for your, your business, if it's for your company. You have to kind of envision something that you want it to be. And, and my whole thing is, like I always say, you know, you have to see it. If you, if you see it, you can make it happen. That's yeah. how I feel. That's how I've always felt about yeah. everything. And, and, you know, not everybody's going to understand your vision. We'll get into all of that. but Almost nobody's going to understand your vision. Yeah, for sure. You know? I mean, especially because, like, one thing is... Well, you always have to mold your vision. You always have to craft it. You're always going to be changing yeah. it as, as you know, the seasons pass, as the time goes past. Yeah. You're always going to be, you know, kind of molding it to what you want it to be. And the thing is, what you want for something isn't always going to be what everybody else wants. Exactly. And and that's what you have to notice. So I think, I think first and foremost, you know, when you're starting a business or a company, you need a vision. Like when we started the podcast here... Uh, I, I think we told the story probably in episode one, but yeah. basically we were driving to New York City one day. Um, me and Z, I took my wife, he took his girlfriend, um, and I was telling him, listen, I want to start a podcast. I was trying to get my buddy involved, and you know he lived in Reading, so it was a little far-fetched. And, and Z said, I would like to start a podcast too. And we just chatted, and we came up with a vision of what we kind of wanted it to be. Yeah. And listen, we're still kind of honing in the vision, obviously. For like sure. we said last episode, we're... We're getting the new uh, recording studio made up, and mm-hmm. and look, it's going to be exactly the way that we want it. So that's yeah. going to be our vision. Yep. Now, obviously, things are going to change. We're going to go to other cities. We're going to go to other states. It's going to be yeah. kind of traveling and not always that type of vibe. For sure. But when we have our own station, it's going to be our vision. It's going to be what we want. So back to what I was saying and, and what he said is like nobody's going to see your vision, and that's that's first yep. and foremost. And it, uh, another thing is nobody is really going to be able to help you with your vision because at the end of the day, you don't know if you're right, and nine times out of ten, if they're not seeing your vision like you do, they're probably not going to be right either. You know, it's uh, something that you got to do solely by yourself. For sure, yeah. And, that, and the thing is, too, like there's going to be – there's going to be, a, like, a lot of people say to me and Z, like, oh, yeah, you know, I feel you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. And the thing is, like, they don't. until you're really doing it and you're, you're putting your all into it they and you're trying to it. build it for you, like, other people aren't going to get it. And Drake said that, like, in a song. He was like, you know, people say they feel me, man. They can't feel me. And that's, like, the most truthful thing is, yeah. like, nobody's going to really understand it until they're in your shoes and, and, you know, really in your mind. Like, look, a lot of... A lot of the things that I think of for the podcast, like I'm thinking in the car on the on the drive here, I'm I'm speaking it out loud, like yeah. I'm getting ready for it by myself, and nobody else can say that they understand what I'm saying because right. listen, I'm I'm having these conversations with myself before I'm having these conversations in front of the camera on the microphone, all of that because you yeah. know it's it's my vision, but. I'm the same way. Yeah, <laughs> man. I I, I, I be I, talking myself in the car, and some people will say you're crazy for that, but. Nah, I think it's I, practice makes perfect, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. And that's the thing. Like, I I wrote this down just a couple minutes ago, honestly, because I was thinking of it on, on the car right here. But there's, like, to me, in my mind, I think there's three of the most important things you can do when you're starting or, or when you're trying to, to grow something or when you're building a vision. Yeah. Um, the first is the hardest. The second is something you always need to do, whether you're building a vision or not. Um, and I think the third is, is the most important. So first and foremost, which is the hardest, is... Um, bet on yourself. It's always going to be the hardest thing to do, especially yep. when you have a little bit of money coming in, especially when, you know, you're, you're comfortable. You know, for you to bet on yourself and to, to grow your vision outside of what it is you're doing, you know, most times when you start, you're not going to jump in and be making $100,000, making a million dollars. And and betting on yourself from the get-go. You might not be making a million dollars after two, three years. Exactly. It, it, it could take a long time. Yep. But when you understand your vision and you understand you have like a long-term goal, like we talked about last episode, yeah. setting these goals for yourself, you, you know where your vision is going to take you. And when you can see it, you can make it happen. When you can see it, you can achieve it. Right. So the second thing you always need to do is personal development. Yes. And I think it's the, the most important thing to do. Like I feel like from last year till this year, I probably made the, the biggest – increase in my personal life that I have in my entire life like I've always since I was 18 every single year I've, I've gotten a raise I've gotten a promotion I've gotten this I've gotten that 
This last year was kind of like a little more stagnant for me yeah. in, in that aspect, but I feel like my personal development, the way I talk, you know, my health, my fitness, yeah. all that kind of stuff, and that all that all goes into your vision. Like, look, I, by the time we get, look, we were just looking at Wes Watson, just bought a Bugatti. Yeah. Listen, by the time Snap. I... By the time I, I get to that point in my life, and I speak it the way I'm saying it because it's it's part of the vision. By the time I get to that point in my life, because we will get there. Yes, we will. I, I don't want to be the, the scrawny kid. I want to be the healthy kid. I want to put some weight on. I want to get some muscle. I want to develop myself personally because I know what I want to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. On like, a side note, though, you, you, you know, you friends with me. I'm a big dude. Yes, yeah, so and we're I good. Eat. So he'll we're definitely, good. he's going to bulk up. I that's promise. the thing. Like, we're good. And that's the thing. Like, I'm going to hold him to it. That's all part of the vision. Like, you can have a vision for your company. You can have a vision for your business. But at the end of the day, you also have to have a vision for yourself and, and who you're going to be when you get to yes. that point. And, like, that's something, that I'm, that's something I'm always trying to hone. That's something I'm always trying to Every single to day you should be working on yourself. And that's Every the thing. Every single day. We said before the podcast, before we started recording, like, some of the richest people in the world are still working on themselves. Like, yeah. we were saying Jeff Bezos, like, yep. he's... Learning how to do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for what? For He's a what? billionaire, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's but, surrounded by secret service. He'll but, never need to use it. Like, all these people that are, are super rich, they're always working on themselves. They're always better in themselves. And it's like, I, somebody said in a song, like, I've been around a lot of millionaires. I think it's rubbing off. And, like, that's the thing. Like, when you're around those people, you see them getting better. It's like, it's like... This dude's a millionaire. Why is he waking up at 5 in the morning to go to the gym? Well, how yeah. the hell do you think he got to where he's at? He yeah. didn't roll over one night and yeah, say shit. Person he didn't roll that. off the bed and land into $5 million. Like, right. So that's the thing. Personal development is something you always need to do. And, I mean, look, I, it's something I've been working towards. I know Z been in the gym with me. Yep. Our boy Tommy's getting They're us right. On it. And it's something that we're going to continue to do. We're talking even when we go to Chicago at the end of April. Like, in we're going to get a, get a workout day. in the morning before we go do the podcast, before yep. we go see the city. Like, it's just something yeah. that it got to be like a lifestyle, too. It just can't be like an overnight thing. We yeah. were talking about this It in can't January. be a one-month thing either. It's got to be like a progressive, you know, every day you're working towards it. Yeah, and, and the most important thing of these these top three things, This listen, this is just what I'm saying. You don't got to listen to me. I think I'm somebody great to listen to, and I'm going to prove it over time. Yeah. But the most important thing and the last step of these top three things is never give up. Yeah. It's the most important thing. Like, yeah. look. So when you wake up in the morning and you want to go to the gym and you're not feeling well, you don't feel like you want to go, yep. there's somebody out there that's beating you. There's somebody. Right Listen, now. It's, it's Easter Sunday. I just left my wife. I left my son. I left her family. Yep. And we come to do the podcast. And on my way here, you know, I was, I was thinking like, damn, man, I don't want to do this. In the I, back of my mind, I do want to do it. I'm you like, know what? Once we're here, yes. like, listen, I'm going to fucking roll. I'm yeah, on fire. Yeah, 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 Once yeah. I started coming here, I started planning. I started planting the seeds for the vision uh -huh. of, this, of this episode. And, like, I just, got, I just got heated up. And the thing is, like, there's those people that didn't want to do it, so they didn't do it. And that's why we're going to beat them. And that's why we're going to yeah. continue to win. I'm going to beat you 10 out of 10 times. Exactly. If it's you or me, it's you all. It's you all day. You're going down. Uh -huh. So that's the top you're three done. most important things. And listen, I'm on fire right now. It's just something that that I'm passionate about. Like, listen, the hardest thing to do, bet on yourself. It's gonna be the hardest thing to do. Nine out of ten times is just is just taking that step and saying, yeah. you know, my vision's worth it, or you know, I can really do this. Like. I know my capabilities. Everybody yep. knows their capabilities. You know, know if you can really fulfill something that you're trying to do, and then you know if you can't do it. Like we said in January yep. when we were doing episodes, like I said, when I wasn't going to the gym, I knew I wasn't going to the gym. I knew I wasn't healthy. I knew yeah. I wasn't lifting weights. Yep. Now, in January, I said I'm going to the gym. I know I'm going to continue to do it because that's that's where I'm at. Like yeah. it's, it's part of the vision, and that's the, the personal development that you always need to do. Listen. Read a fucking book every once in a while. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, listen. I'll tell you what. That's something that I struggle with. Reading books is hard. But the thing that people got to understand is I have it helps. I have 30, 40, 50 books at my house. Maybe six of them I've read the whole entire the book. The whole book, right. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. I read the first four, five, six chapters. Maybe uh -huh. pick it up later. A lot of these personal development books, the first four or five chapters, they start repeating themselves. They start saying kind of the same things. Yeah. Um, but... You take a little bit from something like I, I've I've read some books and then I've looked at some successful people, especially successful people that I've worked next to, and I've said like, 
they do this thing that I'm reading about. Why did how'd they figure it out? Why you know the what fuck I mean? I do it? And then it's like you take those those little things, you put them in your in your chest, you put them in your your toolbox, mm-hmm. and then you have them forever. Like it's not something that you just kick to the side. And and lastly, like I said, never give up. I don't think we're ever gonna give up. No. But one thing with your vision that that you need to understand is you're going to and you need to know your vision better than anyone else. Yeah. And that's something really, kind of you just spoke on is like nobody's gonna really be able to see it. Nobody's gonna you. see it. And if they do see it, they're not gonna understand it the way that you're putting it out there. Exactly. Um, they're never and the thing you know, is it's not their vision, so when you bet on yourself, they're never going to understand why you're doing it. Yeah, they're not. Because they don't understand the, the time, the sweat, the blood, the tears. And they the also tears. don't know how far you think that you can take it. Exactly. You know? And I'm going to say think uh, lightly there because I know most people, if you put your mind to something, you can do it. You That's know, the it's, thing. It's, it's all the negativity around you. There is people... I guarantee you, you come up with an idea today. You think it's the best idea in the world. It's unstoppable. You go tell one person, he's going to think you're fucking out of your mind and tell you everything that can go wrong. Exactly. But he, he don't want to help out with things that can go correctly. Because they'll he's never just, understand. They don't yeah. understand. And they don't understand what you're willing to sacrifice or what you're willing to put into it, too. Yeah. And what people got to understand is, like, there will be bad days. Like, yeah, there's, there's a always going to be coming. shitty days. It's you know what I mean? Coming. And the thing is, there's always those cloudy days, and after those cloudy days, the sun shines. And that what you have to understand is, you can have those bad days. Understand it's one bad day. Yeah. You can't let it roll over, roll over, roll over. Bad day, bad day, bad no. day. No. Get that bad day. Cut it out of your life. Move on. Get the fuck over it. Yeah. Don't take ten steps back because that's where you get screwed yeah. up. And yeah. and. You Start have making to know- bad decisions after a bad exactly. day. Exactly. So that's the thing. Once you know your vision better than anybody else, which you're the only person that can truly, truly know your vision, right. then these other people aren't going to understand what you want to do, and these, these people are going to doubt you. And that's the thing. Like, Even the people that tell us, like, yeah, man, we see you're doing this. We see you're doing that. You're going to go far. Like, yeah. Listen, I, I appreciate all the love. I understand all the love, but I know how it is. Like, I, I've, I've seen people go far in sports i've seen people go far in in college football careers and and everybody's showing them love and then when it stops or when they when they give up or when they they quit that vision it's like nobody's there telling them oh why don't why don't you go back and try again they're just like oh fuck it he gave up yeah he gave up so you had all that faith in them when they were coming up but now that they gave up you're not going to be the one there to say yo pick your fucking pants up tighten up let's make it happen like that's a thing I think the best thing that you can do too is have somebody by your side that's gonna check you when when you're fucking up. Like, there's been times where Z's called me and been like, "Yo, you all right? How you feeling about the podcast, bro?" And like, my thing is, I gotta check him, man. Sometimes, sometimes I get fucked up in my head, and the thing is, listen. Some sometimes we have long nights. Sometimes we have long days. Sometimes yeah. it's like, damn, how are we gonna get these fucking episodes done, yeah. man? But at the end of the day, when you got a when you got a, a party of two people, it's like. One person is there always to pick up the other one. Not that yep. they need it, but just because it's like, listen, we're fucking in this together. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and we're going to make it together. And that's sure. the thing. So, and that's the thing about the vision. Like, we talk about it a lot. All is the like, time. what do we want this to be? Where do we want to go? A lot of people have asked, like, do you want to make money off of this? Do you want to get rich off of this? And, like, obviously, at the end of the day, we want to make money. Obviously, yes. well, listen. We're going to make money, okay? Yes. It's going to come. I, I understand that. That's all part of the vision. But the We're thing is, there. the vision was, let's talk to these people. Let's talk to these successful people. Let's yeah. talk to these restaurant owners. Let's talk to these bar owners. Let's talk to these people that own these companies. And Let's get their vision and how they came about with their yeah, vision. How the and hell how did they do it? How far they want to take it. Yeah. How did they do it? Yeah. And the thing is, every person we've talked to, I've taken little bits and pieces of it yeah. and, and said, well, Man, if they could do that, I could do this. Yeah. Or if they could do this, I could do that. And it's like you learn a little bit from everybody. Like I say a lot too, you learn a lot from people that fail. Like you yeah. learn a lot from people that are screwing things up. Yeah, like there's it. there's people you see doing the job, they're not doing the job right. They think they're doing the job right, but they're not doing the job right. Yeah. And it's easy to see the people judging them. And it's like, all right, well, I have to understand myself that when I'm doing a job, if I'm not doing it right, how did they look at that person? Because I don't want them to look at me right, that way. Exactly. Because yes. if they are looking at me that way, then I'm. Then I I'm, need to get their opinion maybe and take it into my mind and say, okay, maybe they're right. And that's the thing. Like, you got to understand, you don't always have 
the right answer. No. And, and somebody else, somebody else's opinion might weigh on you, but they could still be incorrect as well. Exactly. Like you know what I mean? Like like somebody else's, they're they're making fun of you uh, for getting in trouble or something yeah. like that. But them doing it the same way, you know, them doing it is still could be incorrect. Exactly. You know what I mean? It, and and that's the thing. Like you gotta you gotta look at. I like to look at people and look at how other people react to what they're doing, mm-hmm. whether it's good, whether it's bad, you know. And I I hear everything from from the the people at the bottom to the people at the top, and I try to I try to take it all in and say how does. How does this person's thoughts or get affected by this person, or why do they feel that way about this person? Just yeah. because once you understand that, you you can really understand how they won't feel that way about you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a little complicated, and it's kind yeah. of striving away from the vision and such. But the the whole gist of it is like, once you have that vision, you you just have to follow it, not to a T. I want to say. Because like I said in the beginning, you you're always going to be crafting it. You're always going to be yep. working on making it a little better. Yep. Um, and there's but, always going to be ups and downs with that. Exactly. Always. But it always starts from a thought. So once you have that thought, write it down. Look at it a week later. Say, does not make sense? You know, it's can crazy, I, can Jordan, I tweak I've it? Been, uh, that's something I've been working on myself lately. Uh, everybody always, t- like, uh, a lot of the successful people that we've spoke to. Yeah. They, I, I've heard from multiple people to write it down on paper, yeah. like actually write it down. That's a thing. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I wrote down a couple things, and I'm gonna continue to write some shit down. I've been doing it since the beginning it. of the year. Uh, personal development. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. You know, keep writing it down and, the, and the praying best. to God. You know, I make the right uh, moves and make it happen. That's the thing too. Like I started journaling in the beginning of the year. Listen, the first like six days of the year, I did it every day. Now it's gotten to the point where, you know, maybe I do it once every two weeks, maybe I do it once every three weeks, but the best the best thing about it is I can look back at where I was three weeks ago, writing down, you know, I really feel like the, the podcast is, is making a leap, I really feel like we're getting to a good point, you know, I, I, I took my son here today, my family's growing so much, um, I'm, my, I'm financially here in my life, I know I'm going to make it to this point, just all these things I said in the, in the past tense, on a day when I'm when I'm down and I'm saying, damn, man, how am I going to get to this point? I can look back and say, how was I in this mindset that day? Yep, I've had you know all these I mean? good days. I had all these good days, uh-huh. and I was in that mindset. How do I get back to that mind frame? And I can look at the previous days and see, what maybe I didn't go to the gym the last three days, but I did go to the gym those three days, right. and my mind was in the right place. Or, or maybe I, I fucked up something at work. I knew I fucked it up. And, and I just kind of shied away from the problem instead of just hitting it head on and fixing it. Yep. Like, there's these different things. And when you write it down, you can look back on it and say, fuck, I made that mistake that day. How did I make that mistake again and grow from it? Because, right. listen, you can keep a lot of shit. Listen, I have a great memory, I think. I, I, I know I have a great memory. I, I remember things from shops that I worked at two years ago that you can ask me about, and I'll, I'll remember it today. But when you write it down it just sticks that much more yes it does and that's the thing when you're writing down your goals you're writing down your visions you're writing down these it's places sticking. you want to go and things you want to be you're putting it out into the world uh-huh and it's sticking and that's the thing we it's talk sticking. about it all the time like we're going to get to this place we're going to do this and and i think just like a vision like once you see it you can make it happen i also feel like once you, the words that you put out into the world are are what's <coughs> going to come about so like if you're putting out negative negative energy negative words negative vibes you're gonna get nothing but negativity in your life but when you're putting out there and you're saying i'm going to be this person i'm going to get to this point in my life i'm going to get this car i'm going to get this raise i'm going to get this promotion that's the kind of shit that's gonna happen right like there's a i forget what law it is it's like newton's or somebody's law Some shit i know but yeah it says like the more you think about bad things happening the more likely they are to occur it's gonna happen and and it's true like there's been times in life where i'm like damn man i really don't want this to happen you're thinking about it you think about it so much, that shit happens. Yeah, it's You know happened. what I mean? And yeah. I'm at to the point now where, like, I think about so many positive things. I think about so many places I'm going to go, and it's slowly happening, dude. Like, yeah. we, we started the podcast in December. We talked about we want to we wanna take trips. We want to travel people. We want to... We'll go wherever we got to go. We just yeah. got... We line up an episode in four months in another state. We're yeah. hopping on a plane. We're going there yeah. because we put it out into the world. That's truly how I feel. Yeah. And it's the same thing with your vision. Like once you see it, you can make it happen. And you know, it all starts with a thought. But one thing you 
you always have to do is you have to see your vision through, which goes back to, you know, the most important of them f three things is just, you know, never, never give up. Never give up. Never give up. That's, never give up. That's all you can do. But like I said in the beginning, top three most important things, man, bettering yourself is always going to be the hardest. Personal development is always something you need to do, whether it's no matter reading, what. You writing, be doing going that to the gym, day. focus on your health. Even the richest people in the world are getting better every You're day. And they're beating today. the shit out of you. I'm on fire. It, I'm, I'm passionate about that. it, man. It's, I love it. I and love it's something it. I tell myself all the time, though, yeah. too. It's just like, I never did it either. I think that's my thing. Like, when I was growing up, like, I was always just just chasing, like, the quick money and no, chasing, like, the was, nice clothes yeah. and, like... We all like, did it. I, I did was it. just, I wanted to be that guy and I wasn't that guy. And I'm yep. at the point now in my life where like, I really feel like I'm that fucking guy. Yeah. And the and only not, reason, I'm fucking close and to And that's the that thing. Guy. And the only reason why I feel that way is because I'm consistently working on myself. I think you could put me in front of a group of 50,000 people today and I can motivate all of them. I can make them all take an extra step in their life. And I didn't always, I wasn't always this guy. Like, I, I wasn't this guy two, three years ago. Like, I've always been somebody that could talk to people. I knew that. Yeah. But, like I said, I talk to myself in the car. Like, it, that's how it started. I, I, I have these conversations with myself in the car. Yep. Next thing you know, I have these conversations with myself in the mirror. Then uh -huh. I have these conversations with my wife. Then I have these conversations with my wife and her friends. Uh -huh. Then I have these conversations with me, you, our friends. Yeah. And it's yeah. like... Now I'm at the point where I, I have the conversation with the fucking world. Like, yeah. listen, bet on yourself. Fucking, it's the only way you're going to do it. Like, every successful person, they say, like, That's they were making half a million dollars. They quit to do something they love for $100,000 and built it to a $5 million business. Yep. Why Snap. can they do it and nobody else can? Like, it's just, the proof is in the pudding. But the problem is, the most important thing is you can't give up, never give up. And, never give and up. I, I, I don't know. I think if you stick to those three things... I don't see how you can lose. And listen, you're going to have you losses. Can't. You're going to have losses. You will. But you got to take them as lessons. You know what yep. I mean? Every time you get knocked down, you get Is back up. Is it really a loss? No, nah, you got to roll with... I, listen, that's the thing. I, 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 I don't always, even... I've always said it. You roll with the punches. Like, there's been that's times it. at work I got beat down. I felt like I wasn't shit. I felt like I wasn't going to make it. I felt like I couldn't do what I was doing. I slept on it. I woke up the next day. I reflected on it and said, I'm coming back fucking beast. I'm unstoppable. And, and there wasn't no stopping me from there. And it's like, once you get through a little bit of it adversity like that's what everybody needs i think adversity is like the best thing somebody can face is because once you the problem is when you have no adversity in your life and that's what happens with like these these kids that are rich and they get like a lot of money when they're growing up they never see the adversity so once they go out into the real world they get hit with a couple of problems they fucking crumble yeah and you could hit me with a fucking Mack truck tomorrow, Mack truck. and I'm coming back. It, like, it, I'm rolling with the punches every day like of the week. Happened. Like, that's the thing, because I've been there, I've been knocked down, and I've gotten back up. Like, I was telling myself on the way here, like I said, like, people think I'm probably crazy. I'm talking to myself in the car, but, like, I, I wasn't always the popular kid in school. Yeah. I hung out with the popular kids. I got invited to the parties because I was with the popular kids. Right. I wasn't always... The strong kid, obviously. I wasn't the athlete. Like, yeah. I wasn't that guy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. in high school, I was the guy that the girls dated for a week and they found another one. You know what I right, mean? Like, right, right. that was me. But I got to the point where, like, the, who do I got to work on? Like, I don't got to work on my image to prove to these other people. The only nah. person I had to work on was myself. So, and, like, that's the thing. Once you start working on yourself, dude, you can take your life to a whole nother level. And and I truly feel like it, it all happens from a vision. Like, you got to see... Yeah what you want yourself to be. Like, just you buying the fucking suits and shit. Like, you wanted to be a I guy that was that wearing a suit. Yeah, and yeah. how do you become a guy... I didn't even get to show you. I got a new one yesterday. Exactly. <laughs> but, like, how do you become the guy that's gonna wear suits? Like, you yeah, just look, gotta I do, do it. I do it yeah, on pull it out. Let me <laughs> show it out on the camera. Come on. on. Like, that's the thing, though. Here. Like, you gotta know what you wanna be and you gotta shoot for it. I ain't gonna it. let you show my face because I was extremely hungover, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice that's a nice piece plaid suit See? man I wanted that bad man but that's the thing like you you didn't come from the guy wearing suits you nah, know what I mean dude, and like, I was never a formal person I think ever. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm but like, I love this shit listen though. I might pack a suit for Chicago to be honest like I'm gonna be honest I am packing a suit and that's the I thing will. like I I always had that vision for myself too like I always had that vision of of being the guy that shows up in the, the three suit. in the three piece suit with the Rolex <laughs> oh, <your> on, day. <laughs> like, like I love I, it. I, I've always been the guy that I would come to work in a suit every fucking day, 
not because, like... I'm with you. Not because, like, it proves anything, but, like, first of all, I like to wear a suit. You know what I mean? Like, some people say, who the fuck wants to wear a suit every day? Like, I love them. I love wearing a suit. I don't know why. I love the way I look in it. I love the way it makes me feel. And, yeah. and I... That's my biggest thing. I love the way it makes me feel. It, feels, it makes me feel like I'm fucking... The boss. Yeah, oh, like, I feel like a boss. But and that's the and me growing up, I was never I'm, that guy. I'm I'm humble, though. You know, like, I know I'm not the boss, but it, it, it it's the feeling. Yeah, you know what I mean? The, the feeling thing, like, is, a, is a step towards it. Whether you... Whether, whatever... What way you want to look at it, you know? It's a, yeah, you got to feel it to believe it. And that's right. the thing, like, Deion Sanders said something like, you know, look good, feel good, feel good, play good. Something yeah. like that. And the thing is, like, yep. it all starts with, like... Listen, looking good is different to everybody. You understand? Like yeah. like what we're saying, like I like to wear a suit. Z likes to wear a suit. Some people don't like wearing suits. If you're wearing a suit, in your mind, if you don't look good, you're not going to feel good. Like my wife gets mad at me all the time. I'll change outfits like four or five times before we go out until I'm in the one <laughs> that I feel like I'm there. Like I'm ready to fucking rock and roll. Let's make it happen. But you have to look good, feel good to play good. I, I, I stand 100%. by that. I do too. But it all goes back to having that vision of yes. I want to be the guy in the suit or I want to be the guy in the Bugatti or yeah, I want to be the guy one. in the... Listen, <laughs> I'm fucking looking at G-Wagons. Why? I don't fucking know. I want to buy one. I do it all I should day long. do it now. I shouldn't. Will I? I don't know. Put some pressure on myself. Yeah. Maybe I'll do it. <laughs> but the thing is like when I was... when I Listen, when I was like 16, 17, 18... My parents just started making $100,000, and I thought we were fucking rich. Yeah. And I never thought I'd get to the point in my life where, like, I could buy a car that I seen these people driving in, yeah. like, but it was always a part of my vision. Like, I always knew I would get to this point in my life, and listen, I might take a back step here at one point and have to start it all over, but you can knock me down to the ground, I'll build it all the way to yeah. fuck back up because yeah. I've been working on myself. And that's mm -hmm. the thing, like you got to build that confidence in yourself, and I think that's probably the biggest thing. Like, and with the when you're in the gym, and and when you're lifting, and when you feel good, it just builds your confidence tenfold, and, yes, and it, it does. that's the most it important really does. thing. Especially when you go into a conversation with somebody. Like, if you go into a conversation with somebody, you're not really confident about what you're talking. Listen, when we talk about the comp the the podcast, like I'm selling the podcast, like it's fucking gold yeah like, if you come on <laughs> if you come on my podcast dog you're gonna live until you're fucking 300 right, like, right. <laughs> i'm fucking selling it like that because i truly believe in in what we're talking about i believe that people really do want to get their stories out there in the world For like sure yeah i, I want to go talk to people tell them a little bit about myself yeah. you tell them a little bit about yourself yeah. your story gets out there and my story gets out there and then the person that we speak to their story gets out there and and i think that's listen one hand washes the other that's you up. know and and we go from there and we grow from there but it all started with the vision that day driving to new york city for us yeah i don't know what the what the vision is for everybody else i can tell you right now i'm probably never going to see your vision because it's only yours right and you're probably never going to see my vision and honestly i could give a fuck less yeah but i'm going to keep following it i'm going to keep growing mm. and if you didn't know this is the growing pains podcast and that's big z and this is the wolf <laughs>